Nope, that one's gone. And they may well be under under any leaf. Just haven't started eating yet, so. Here's Should, the big guy right here. Okay. There's like parallel stripes running down. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a monster. The stinging nettle caterpillar is fairly new to Kailua, although there were two previous finds. Those are uh, Hulala Resort and uh, Kehole Ag Park area. So now that it's in a residential area, uh, people are getting excited and they're getting stung. Those have come off of five properties and Kamani trees in the last two months. Wow. And I've been pretty, pretty uh, active trying to get, get to them, but. Uh, what do you have in there, just alcohol? Just as rubbing alcohol from the medicine cabinet. We're fairly certain it came from Taiwan on a shipment of palm seedlings, a legal shipment of palm seedlings. It's a family of caterpillars we've never had in Hawaii before, the slug caterpillar. Mm -hmm. This is a nail, size of a nail. Many of which have these urticating spines, which uh, uh, give you a very nasty reaction, uh, causes intense itching, can go on for hours, days, weeks. Uh, some people are more sensitive than others. Some get blisters, some get very swollen. Some people have had to go to emergency. So uh, very differential reactions among the population. But virtually everyone reacts somehow, and it's usually at least intense uh, itchiness. Uh, the key things to look for is, uh, and go to our website, um, the Department of Agriculture, and also the University of Hawaii website, College of Tropical Agriculture, um, and you can see the photos. It's a uh, larva gets up to about an inch long, covered with spines. Um, the pupil stage is like a fuzzy little ball, very peculiar for a, a moth. Um, and the eggs are flat and green and very difficult to see. So it's the larvae that people see and those are the ones they get stung by. Um, the adult moth is kind of a drab little guy, about uh, three quarters of an inch. It's got a white diagonal line on the forewing near the uh, back one third, so they they're fairly easy to recognize, and they come to lights at night, the moths. So you'll you see a lot of them flying around. You can see this the snail-like foot. See that greenish yes. foot? Mm -hmm. Well, it's beyond any form of chemical, mechanical control, containment, or eradication. However, we have been engaged in biological control work now since the beginning when it first showed up in 2001. Mm -hmm. So we've had cooperators in Indonesia and Taiwan, and uh, we got a couple of, well, I should say one good on prospect from Taiwan, which is in our quarantine now. It's a, a eulophid wasp, and when I say wasp, it's not something that will sting people. It's a very tiny thing, and it lays its eggs on the caterpillar, and then those larvae attach to the outside of the caterpillar and basically suck the life out of it. So it looks like a pretty good parasite, still in quarantine. Hopefully in maybe another six months we might have it out the door, but the testing is a very long procedure and the regulatory review is also very long, so it, it's not slow. Um, these things typically take four to five years. And you, you can see with, the, with that one down there, if somebody, like a child, came in here and walked by, yeah, exactly. you could get a nasty sting on your leg. Yep.